Pope Francis has signed the book of honor during a courtesy visit to the Governor General Sebob Dadai at the government house early this morning. Following that, he met with dignitaries from around the region and addressed government authorities at the APEC house. He said increasing institutional stability and building consensus on fundamental choices is a prerequisite for integral and fair development. He said it also requires a long-term vision and a climate of cooperation among all, even if there is a distinction of roles and differences of opinion. It is my particular hope the tribal violence, violence will come to an end, for it causes many victims, prevents people from living in peace and in their development. He appealed to everyone's sense of responsibility to stop the spiral of violence and instead resolutely embark on the path that leads to fruitful cooperation for the benefit of all the people of the country. The necessary forces can be utilized to improve infrastructure, address the health and educational needs of the population, and increase opportunities for dignified work. Sometimes we forget that human beings need more than just the basic necessities of life. They also need great hope in their hearts. Governor General Sebob Dadai said this year is the 179th year of the presence of the Catholic Church in PNG and the country is grateful for the Pope's visit. PNG government recognizes the strong contribution of the church in supporting children, communities, future church leaders across education, health, and spiritual care. I welcome His Holiness Pope Francis to this beautiful country. Your presence here is a testament to the enduring spirit of faith that brings us together across oceans and continents. And I am honored to receive you today. We know that your visit will leave an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of our citizens. We pray that the seeds of faith, hope, and love that you show, there will, be, there will bear fruit for generations to come. The Pope then visited the children of street ministry and Kalan services. After that, he addressed the bishops of PNG and Solomon Islands, priests and other leaders. Esther Gane, National MTV News.